Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kurana, your host on Intellect Digest, and this is the first look at the Zolo Hive interface, which has been launched with the Zolo 8X1000, which is right here in my hand. In this video, I'm going to show you how the interface looks like. I'll also talk about the specifications and features of this phone. Compare it with the Mi 3 from Xiaomi, the Mi UI versus Zolo Hive, and I'll also show you what it means for the end customers. So I'll start with the lock screen itself. So this is the lock screen of Zolo Hive interface and as you can see it is fairly customized. You can directly unlock into dialer or you can directly unlock into the messaging depending on what you want to do with the phone. So I can directly go into camera, start taking pictures. So this is a very good customization right onto the home screen and the camera sensor here is also fairly good. At the rear you get an 8 megapixel Exomore R by Sony which comes with autofocus, LED flash, f2.0 aperture so it's fairly good. This is how the home screen looks like and it is fairly customized as you can see it is not stock Android. It is based on Android KitKat 4.4 and the Hive UI runs on top of it. I'll quickly show you so this is the Hive UI that is running on top of the Android KitKat 4.4 on this Zolo 8X1000. Talking about the interface, it has been fairly customized. So if you go into app drawer, you can see the apps based on alphabetical order or the time when they were installed or based on the classifications as in the games, communication apps, media apps, etc. Apart from that, what special has been done here is that there is an edge application which lets you submit your themes, artistic works, ringtones, etc. and collaborate and distribute your content. You also get some interesting things like the contacts application. In this, the contacts actually get much more details with high resolution pictures, etc. Right now, it is not set up. This is a demo device. I'll show you some more features apart from that. There is another system app which is called Connect, which lets you communicate with other friends using the Hive application, which is a good thing. You get designer themes on Hive under the theme section and you can download these themes and apply them on the go and these are fairly interesting themes. So I can show you some of the themes and what kind of customization it brings. So right now if I go to themes and apply this theme which is here by Chali Cool, it will change all the iconography and even the lock screen. So from the lock screen you can enter different applications but in a different graphical way. So this is the new theme applied as you can see the iconography is now different and looks much more customized. And from the lock screen I can go to messages by swiping on the M message which is here. It takes me directly to messaging and same is for camera. For camera I have to draw a C which is down here. It brings you a lot of ways with which you can unlock the phone. It has this media intelligence feature in which all the media applications like the music, videos, FM radio etc have been brought under same screen. So you need not hunt from screen to screen and app to app to consume your favorite music or video tracks. The launcher as I have already shown you is now much more customized and is very intelligently organized and gives you a much organized experience here. The settings have also been customized so you can just swipe down, control your brightness, timeout etc with these circular dials. It's fairly easy to control. You can go into detail setting by hitting this icon here and you can access all the standard settings of Android KitKat. Another very interesting feature of this phone is the camera application which has been customized under Hive. As you can see there is a KitKat like dial button here for clicks but don't mistake it for the stock camera app. You go into these settings and you can apply a lot of filters. You can set a lot of effects in your pictures. There is a front facing camera as well here. So you can use it for video calling, video conferencing, etc. There are a lot of simplified controls. You can have grid lines if you want. You can have some color effect or picture effects and these are live effects. So you can have CPI effect and take pictures directly in that particular effect. So these are some very interesting camera features have been added. And these are the modes which are advanced modes as you can see automatic, pro mode, panorama, HDR, gesture shot in which you make a V gesture and it will take a picture. There is also face beauty in which it enhances the face features, removes blemishes from the face etc. The gallery application has also been improved compared to the stock android so I will quickly take you to gallery and show you how it looks like. So you have clear segregation of images, 
camera apps, a very good visually appealing user interface to use the phone when you are in gallery application. When I put it next to the Mi 3 with Mi UI, you can see that it also supports certain direct lock screen functionalities like I can unlock to the phone, the camera or the messaging application or directly unlock. This is very similar to what we can do here. So you can say that it's very parallel to what Mi UI has been doing in China and it's usually popular and it's a bold step from Zolo to do something similar and go away which is different from the hardware. They are differentiating on the software. Now let me talk about the performance features of the 8X which has been launched with the Hive. This is the first phone which comes with Hive and it boasts of a very good solid build quality. On the rear you have a Gorilla Glass 3, on the front you have a Dragon Trail Glass. There is a 5 inch high definition 720p display. You get an octa core processor with 1.4 GHz, MediaTek processor, Mali GPU, there is an 8 megapixel rear camera. It's a dual SIM device so there is a SIM card slot right here. Another one here, there are physical buttons. The build quality seems solid. The bottom has speaker grills if you can see here. The lighting is not very good here. On top we have standard 3.5mm audio and charging ports. And the left hand side is fairly clean except for a SIM card tray which has been provided. There is 2GB of RAM and 16GB internal memory and the memory as been told by the Zolo team is expandable on this one. However, I don't see the slot where I can put the memory card. I'll confirm this later but on the first impressions the Hive UI looks very amazing. It's very beautiful, very fluidic and I kind of like the way they have differentiated from normal boring smartphones that we see these days. Mii UI is one excellent example of a customized user experience over Android and Hive brings something similar to you from the house of Zolo. This is all we have on this video, we'll do a detailed review so if you want to know some more features about Hive, do leave the, your questions in the comment sections below and if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button. This is your host Rohit Khurana, please do subscribe for our future videos if you don't want to miss out on our future updates. Thanks for watching.